the growing economic crisis in the U.S. is also being fueled by record job loss. At this point, more than 44 million Americans have filed for unemployment. Now, last week, 1.5 million more claims were filed, which you can see is actually down from the week prior. Initial jobless claims have been falling, as you can see, since the peak, which was in late March, that was at 6.9 million. But they went up last week here in Massachusetts. WBZ's Christina Hager's live force in Natick tonight with a look at how people's lives are being affected. Well, David, those unemployment numbers continue to be staggering, and it's happening as business people, like the owner of this franchise store, face some very tough decisions. The signs say it all. A Natick coffee shop closing for good. A Saugus diner shuttered after seven decades. The Four Seasons Hotel in Boston announcing it's cutting about half its staff. And here on Massachusetts Avenue, a closeout sale at what might be the quirkiest store in the city. My mom and dad started in the 40s. Dorothy's costume boutique has stood the test of time. Oh, it, it just it doesn't, it's just not right. It just stinks. It took the coronavirus to take this institution down. And I'm looking at the forecast for sales going forward, and I don't see anything. I don't, there's no ball games and no concerts, no parades, no festivals. No, nothing. This, as Massachusetts reports the first jump in unemployment claims in several weeks. 44,732 people in the Bay State filing for unemployment insurance last week. Nationwide, the number is 1.5 million. And Boston College economist Robert Murphy says it's the small businesses that are the engines of job creation. To the extent that we now end up with small businesses going out of business, uh, not being able to make it uh, go uh, down the road. We're going to see, I think, uh, concern that we won't have these employment opportunities for people to go back to. This honeydew store in Natick is one of them. I can't make you know, money or I can't even pay the bills, so uh, that's why I made a decision to close the shop. The last cup of coffee to be served here this weekend. Oh, look at that. And the owner of this store says it would take him two years to make up what he lost over the last several months. Between that and the rent, there would be no money coming in. In Natick, Christina Hager, WBC News. It is